A summary of the news from around the world now. The American swimmer Michael Phelps has become the greatest Olympian in history. Within the past half hour, he won gold as part of the 200 meter US freestyle relay team, giving him 19 medals and the Olympic record. The way has been cleared for the first appearance by a Saudi Arabian woman in the Olympics. Judo officials have decided she will be allowed to wear the hijab during her competition on Friday, reversing an earlier decision banning the Islamic headscarf. A huge power cut in India has left 600 million people without electricity. It's the second successive day that there's been a major failure of the grid. Metros and long-distance trains are badly hit and hundreds of miners were trapped underground. Fighting between Syrian government forces and rebels is continuing in Aleppo. Government forces are reported to be bombarding rebel-held areas with helicopter gunships and artillery. Those are the headlines from around the world. Now let's have a look at, in depth at some of the stories making the news away from the Olympics now. In Syria, the battle for control of Aleppo, the country's largest city, is continuing with reports of more clashes between government troops and rebels. Meanwhile, refugees continue to stream out of the city amid worsening conditions. Supplies of food and drinking water are running low. Our Middle East correspondent Jim Muir reports now from neighbouring Lebanon. Syria's biggest city under attack by its own government. It has the firepower and it's using it. Artillery, tanks and helicopter gunships have all been in action, pounding areas taken over by rebel fighters. But the rebels remain defiant, attacking any regime targets or symbols they can. This is one of several police stations they managed to storm. There was heavy fighting for control here. The commander of Free Syrian Army rebel fighters in the area denied government claims that it's recaptured the Salahuddin quarter. He said the battle's going the other way. Within days, God willing, Aleppo will be liberated. We've already taken some areas, and once they're secured, we'll move on to the city centre until the whole of Aleppo is freed. State television has given very little detail about what's happening in Aleppo, saying only that troops have inflicted very heavy losses on what it calls armed terrorist groups. Some of the many civilians caught unawares by the sudden eruption of violence have been trying to get out of harm's way. Those who remain face a harsh ordeal of danger, discomfort and privation in searing summer heat. American officials are watching closely, believing the fighting in the north heralds the demise of the Assad regime. This is a tragic moment. Uh, what's happening in Aleppo uh, indicates the bankruptcy of Assad and, and the Assad regime.